best hunter virtues. Hello, can someone help me? I am new to the brawler. What virtues should I use as a tank damage dealer? My first level 140. Want now leveling my 5 main virtue to max. Is this combi K? Is courage a virtue? What virtues should I aim for? What virtues are preferred for a hunter in a raid? I Valor Hunter and want to. Ah, uh, virtues. Here we go again. One of the questions I've seen asked the most in my Discord server is which virtues should you use for your character? We have 21 virtues to choose from, but only 5 can be slotted. Of course, you get the passive bonus where there's morale and there's mastery. But which five are the best for your class and for the role that you're playing? I've previously made virtue guides where I kind of go through the virtues and choose the best five. But I'll be honest, I've never been quite happy with those guides. and They're not really that accurate. So instead, I just decided it's time to make a really in-depth guide for which five virtues will be best for your class. Depending on your build and how well geared you are, I want people to know which five they should initially start out with, and once you obtain a lot of gear, you might want to switch some of them out. Now, before getting into the video, it's important to remember that every class and every role wants to aim for different stats. Not all of the stats are good. Loyalty is the best overall virtue in terms of essence value, but a lot of the value is vitality. And I don't think every class really needs to aim for this amount of vitality when you can get other stats instead. You have virtues like fidelity, which is really good for pretty much any class, a lot of useful mitigations and vitality. And then on the other hand, you have virtues like charity, which is almost the same value as fidelity, but a lot of this value is in resistance, which is usually not a stat that you want to aim for. This is the way that the layout will be for every single class. Basically, what you'll see on the screen is the class name at the top. So for example, blue Bjorning, there will be the class line in color. So blue, if it's blue Bjorning, class icon on the right, the best five virtues from left to right, in my opinion. And then you'll have the optional virtues if some of these becomes useless for you eventually. So if you're looking for the best virtues for your class, you've come to the right place. Enjoy the video. For Blue Bjorning, you're a tank, so loyalty is very useful with high vitality. The same can be said for fidelity. Fidelity also has a tactical mid and fist mid, so loyalty and fidelity are must picks. Honor is also really good, giving you some extra morale and good attack mitigations. Tolerance overall gives a lot of mitigations, it's good as well. The same goes for compassion, giving a lot of mitigations. And down below you have some more mitigation, vitality, morale, or even wit for finesse if you want. These are all optional that you can put in, because as a tank, most of the times when you get fully geared, eventually you'll just cap your physical mitigations just from your gear which means compassion will become useless. So keep an eye on your mitigations. If you ever go over cap, consider dropping tolerance or compassion and adding wit or finesse if you want that, or just fortitude for some extra morale. Even charity gives decent morale, and it also gives a lot of resistance rating if you're into that. For red Bjorning, the main goal is to hit the offensive stat caps as soon as possible, meaning finesse physical mastery and critical rating. I still recommend fidelity as a main pick because it's such a good virtue, giving pretty good vitality and also really good mitigations. Wit will be one of your strongest virtues to get. Keep an eye on your finesse though. If your finesse is already high enough without wit, then wit is pretty much useless. So if your gear gives you enough finesse already, then wit is not a virtue you should be using. Valor is also good, giving a lot of offensive stats. Same thing applies here, it gives a lot of finesse. If your finesse is already high enough just from gear, then Valor is also not that good. So Wit and Valor, keep an eye on them. Same goes for Confidence, also has a lot of finesse in it. But if your finesse is ever high enough without these virtues, then you should switch them out for one of the optional ones at the bottom. Compassion is also good for really good mitigations. Every class should get mitigations, even DPS classes. 
and fidelity and compassion gives really good value for mediations. These are my recommended five for Red Bjorning, but if your finesse is already high enough, consider taking out confidence, valor and wit, and maybe adding loyalty for some nice vitality, honor, tolerance, innocence gives more survivability, and zeal is an optional offensive virtue if you want that. For Yellow Bjorning, you're a healer, you still want to hit your finesse, critical rating and outgoing healing caps, but you also want to be a bit sturdier than say a DPS, so I definitely recommend getting a loyalty for the high vitality that's really useful on Yellow Bear. Fidelity is always good for any class, good vitality, good mitigations, compassion for the huge mitigation value, wit is also good, you definitely want the finesse on a yellow bear, and crit rating will help your crit, and tactical mastery will increase your outgoing healing, so wit is very good for yellow bear, and honor gives you a nice boost of morale and some tactical mitigations, so another good pick there. The only thing I would say here is keep an eye on your finesse. If your finesse for some reason is already high enough without wit, then you should probably switch out wit and add one of the optional virtues. Red Brawler is a DPS and your goal should be to hit your offensive stats and mitigations before anything else. So fidelity is always really good. High mitigations, good vitality, valor, wit and confidence all will increase your offensive stats. But like with every DPS class, keep an eye on your finesse. If your finesse is already higher than you need with these virtues and you find yourself that you don't really need these for the finesse, then you should consider switching them out for one of the optional ones at the bottom. Compassion is also really good for the mitigations. So more than likely, you just need to keep an eye on your finesse levels. If your finesse is way too high with these five virtues, then consider switching out either Valor, Wit, or Confidence and add Loyalty for some nice vitality, Honor, Tolerance, or Innocence for some survivability, or Seal for some more offensive stats. Blue Brawler wants to build for survivability, so Loyalty is a must pick for a tank. Really high vitality and also some armor value and incoming healing makes it a must pick for a tank. Fidelity is good for every class and also tanks, good vitality, good mitigations. Honor will take your morale up a bit, also adding some mitigations, while Tolerance and Compassion will also increase your mitigations. The only thing to mention here is keep an eye on your mitigation levels. If your mitigation levels are too high with these virtues, then consider switching them out for one of the optional ones at the bottom. So if your physical mitigations are too high, then you probably would switch out Compassion, for example, and maybe add something like Fortitude, Parity or Wit. Or if your attack mid is too high, you would probably drop Tolerance. And once again, you probably would add Fortitude for some extra morale, or Wit if you feel like you need some finesse. For the Burglar class, I decided to just do Virtues for all the different lines, red, blue, and yellow. You all kind of want to hit your offensive stats, so finesse, crit, and mastery. Although yellow burgs typically like to build a bit more tankier, I still think it's a good idea to go for your offensive stats and your mitigations before stacking morale. So as a burglar, fidelity is always good in any line, good vitality and good mitigations. Wit, valor and confidence will increase your offensive stats. But once again on burg, keep an eye on your finesse levels. There's a high chance on Burglar that your finesse will just go higher than you actually need on Burg. So if that ever happens, if your finesse is just too high, then consider switching out Wit because most of the value in Wit is finesse, 140k. And if it's still too high, consider switching out Valor and Confidence because you want to get the full value of your virtues. Compassion is really good for mitigations, but like I said, if your finesse is too high, consider switching out Wit, Valor and Confidence. Loyalty is a good substitute as well as honor, determination if you want some more offensive stats, and tolerance and innocence if you ever need some more mitigations. Red captains nowadays actually gear for DPS. No longer do we have the yellow cappy builds as a red captain. So as a red captain, fidelity is really good, increasing your mitigations a bit and your vitality. Then you have valor, wit, and confidence, all increasing your offensive stats, getting you closer to your offensive stat caps. Compassion also gives really good value for mitigations, so I recommend that as well. And the only thing to watch out for, as usual with the DPS class, 
If your finesse ever gets too high, consider dropping wit, valor, or confidence, depending on your finesse levels. And then I would recommend replacing that with either loyalty, honor, seal, tolerance, or innocence. As a yellow captain, you want to build for survivability, so loyalty is a must pick with really high vitality, fidelity the same, high vitality, and really good mitigation values. Honor gives you more morale, more mitigations, and tolerance and compassion will take your mitigation levels even further. The only thing to watch out for here is if your mitigation levels get high enough just from gear, you might want to consider switching out tolerance or compassion and adding, for example, fortitude for more morale or charity for some vitality and resistance rating. So these are my five recommended yellow cappy virtues. Just keep an eye on your mitigation values. If they get too high, consider switching out tolerance or compassion. For blue captain, you're going to play the role of a healer. So you kind of want to build for your crit rating, your outgoing healing, your finesse probably, and also somewhat survivability. So as a healer captain, I recommend getting loyalty for the high vitality and some armor value. Fidelity is always good, good vitality and really good mitigations compassions to even get better mitigations and then we add wit for some good finesse crit rating and also some outgoing healing with your mastery and honor will increase your morale by more and your tactical mitigation will also increase obviously you do have options here if you don't want the mitigations for example from compassion confidence is a good option to increase your critical rating and give you some more finesse while tolerance and innocence are also good options if you want to increase your mitigations but these five are the best for overall value for a blue captain. If you feel like you don't need the finesse, then wit would definitely go. And you would probably just add confidence to increase your crit rating even more. But I think blue cappy is kind of flexible depending on the way you want to build. So you could always change either compassion, wit or honor or either of these four below. For the DPS champion, so red or yellow champion. These are my recommended virtues. Fidelity is really good for every class, good vitality and really good mitigation value. Valor, wit and confidence will all increase your offensive stats by quite a lot. And compassion gives you more really good value for increasing your mitigations. As always with a DPS class, the only thing you need to look out for is keep an eye on your finesse. If it's too high with these virtues, then consider switching out wit, valor or confidence and add either loyalty and honor for some more survivability or zeal for some more offensive stats or tolerance and innocence if you want more mitigations. As a blue champion, you want to build for survivability. Loyalty and fidelity are must picks for any tanks, high vitality, good armor value and mitigations. Honor is also really good for tanks, giving you more morale and good tactical mitigations. And finally, I recommend getting Tolerance and Compassion for their really good mitigation values. As always, with a tank, keep an eye on your mitigations, especially your Fismit. If you ever just get enough Fismit from your gear, then you would probably want to switch out Compassion. And as a blue champion, you probably want to get some Finesse. Even though Compassion gives really good mitigations, you might consider switching out to get Wit for a nice boost to your Finesse. Or you could even take out honor if you don't care about this extra morale. So wit is definitely an option as well as the other four options I put down below. But these are my five recommended virtues for a blue champion. For blue guardian you also want to build for survivability and mids. Loyalty and fidelity are must picks as always for a tank. Really good vitality and mitigations. Honor gives you more morale which is good for a tank and more attack mitigations while tolerance and compassion will increase your mitigations even further. And as a guardian, you really need to keep an eye on your physical mitigation levels. Typically, your fismit will be too high from just your gear. So keep an eye on the fismit levels. You might want to switch out compassion at some point. And if you want to switch out compassion, then you have some options. Obviously, you wouldn't replace it with innocence because that's also physical mitigation heavy. But you could consider Charity giving you some nice vitality and also some nice resistance rating to add on top of your stats. Or you can just go for Fortitude for the increased morale. And Wit is always an option if you want that extra bit of finesse. You probably need some finesse on Blue Guard. So I would say Wit is already viable to replace one of these five. 
It doesn't get that much value compared to the five on top, but the finesse is really good. If you want to get some free finesse from a virtue, I would probably look to maybe replace honor or compassion if your fistmate is already good enough. For Red Guardian, your goal is to hit your offensive stats, critical rating, physical mastery, and finesse. You still definitely want fidelity for the good mitigation values and some good vitality. Compassion also gives great mitigation values, so it's something I would recommend. And for your offensive stats, I recommend Valor, Wit, and Confidence. And as always, keep an eye on your finesse levels. If your finesse is too high, wearing these virtues, I would recommend probably switching out a few of them and then adding loyalty or honor for some good survivability, seal for some more offensive stats, or tolerance and innocence for even more mitigations. For Hunter, we're just gonna put all the different lines in the same boat. Red, blue, and yellow will all wear the same virtues since Hunter is purely a DPS class. And as a DPS Hunter, fidelity is always good, good vitality giving you good mitigations, compassion is really good mitigation value, and Wit, Valor, and Confidence will increase your offensive stats. But as with every DPS class, keep an eye on your finesse levels. If your finesse levels are way too high using these three virtues, then consider switching some of them out for either Loyalty and Honor for good survivability, Determination if you want some more offensive stats, or Tolerance and Innocence if you feel like you need some more mitigations. Red Loremaster is a DPS, and you want to build for offensive stats, but also somewhat survivability. Fidelity is really good, good vitality and good mitigation values. The same goes for compassion. And for your offensive stats, you want to go with wit, honesty and confidence as a red lore master. All of these three give really good value for offensive stats. But as always, keep an eye on your finesse levels. If your finesse is too high, consider dropping either wit or confidence because if you don't need their finesse they're not as good and if you have to drop one of those then i would recommend adding either loyalty for the high vitality wisdom will give you more offensive stats honor for more survivability and tolerance and innocence gives you more mitigations yellow lore master is a bit different from red lore master because you don't really want to build for dps instead you want to build for survivability and enough finesse so as a yellow lore master, I recommend all defensive virtues, so loyalty for the really high vitality, fidelity for high vitality and good mitigations, compassion gives really good mitigations value, and honor and tolerance will give you even more morale and mitigations for your yellow lore master. The one thing you should look out for here is your mitigation levels. If they are too high with these virtues, then you should definitely consider switching out compassion, tolerance, or honor. And you have some options at the bottom. Obviously, Innocence is more mid, so you don't really need that. But Wit and Confidence will give you some more finesse if that's ever needed. All the last two will give you some tact mastery and increase your healing, as well as some crit. For Red Minstrel, you want to get Fidelity for the good vitality and good mitigation values. You want to add Compassion in there for the high value mitigations. And for your offensive stats, Wit. Honesty and confidence will give you the most gain. And as always, keep an eye on your finesse levels as well as your mitigation levels. If they ever get too high, consider switching out the ones that give you an overload of stats. And then you can add either loyalty for really good vitality, wisdom for some more offensive stats, honor for some more morale and tact mid, or just tolerance and innocence if you need to increase your mitigations further. As a blue minstrel, you kind of want to build for a mix of survivability and also some critical rating and finesse. So for blue minstrel, I definitely recommend getting loyalty for the really high vitality, fidelity for good vitality and mitts, compassion gives really good mitigation value, and wit will give you a really good amount of finesse that you need, as well as some critical rating and some mastery for your healing, and confidence is also really good for your critical rating and increasing your finesse. The only thing really to look out for is your mitigation levels. If they get too high, then you should probably drop compassion and probably add honor for some more morale and tact mid, or wisdom if you want some more offensive stats, some finesse, mastery for your healing, or you could add tolerance, innocence for some more mitigations if that's needed. And honesty is also a decent pick, but it's like a last resort, so probably not going to be used as a blue minstrel. 
as a DPS runekeeper, so either fire red runekeeper or yellow lightning runekeeper, you want to build for offensive stats with a mix of survivability. So fidelity is really good for the vitality and the mitigation values. Same can be said for compassion, giving really good mitigation values. For offensive stats, you want to go with wit, honesty, and confidence, giving you a lot of mastery, finesse, and crit. And I would say the only thing to really look out for here is your finesse levels or your mitigation levels. If they ever get too high, consider switching out compassion if your mitigations are too high. Or you could consider switching wit or confidence if your finesse is too high. And then I would probably add loyalty for the really good vitality or wisdom for some more offensive stats. Honor, tolerance and innocence would give you more mitigations and morale if you prefer that. For blue runekeeper, you want to build for healing, so survivability mixed with some finesse and critical rating is key here. Blue runekeeper, I recommend loyalty for the really high vitality, giving you some more survivability. Fidelity gives more vitality and really good value for mitigations. The same can be said for compassion, giving really good mitigations of value. And then you have wit and confidence to increase your critical rating and your finesse as well as a little bit of mastery for your outgoing healing. If your mitigations are ever too high, I would recommend switching out compassion or either honor for some increased morale, wisdom for some more offensive stats, tolerance and innocence gives you more mitigations, and the last resort option is honesty, but it's honestly not a good option. For red DPS warden, you wanna go for offensive stats with a mix of survivability, so fidelity is always really good, good vitality and really good mitigations. Compassion also gives really good mitigation values. Wit, valor and confidence are my recommended virtues for your offensive stats, giving good mastery, critical rating and finesse. So make sure to keep an eye on your finesse levels. If your finesse is too high, then consider switching out either wit or confidence probably or even valor. And your options would then be loyalty or honor for good survivability, determination for more offensive stats, or tolerance and innocence for more mitigations. As a blue warden, you want to build for survivability. So my initial recommended virtues for blue warden will be loyalty for the really high vitality, fidelity for more vitality and really good mitigations, honor increases your morale even further and gives you a little bit more mitigations, and finally, Tolerance and Compassion will give you even more mitigations. The Blue Warden is kind of in a unique position where you honestly don't need that high mids because all your gambits give really good mitigation buffs. So initially, I would recommend getting these five virtues and then having a look at your mitigation levels. There's a high probability that they will be too high, that your mitigations will just be too high. So if that happens, then consider switching out the heavy mitigation Virtues for either Fortitude for increased morale, Wit is really good for a Blue Warden for the Finesse, and Charity is also a nice vitality boost with some really good resistance value. So as a Blue Warden, you'll probably end up switching out maybe Tolerance and Compassion, and then look to increase your morale with Fortitude, increase your Finesse with Wit, and possibly Charity as a last resort option. Hey! Hey you! Yeah, you. What do you want? You enjoy my content and you want to support me? Fine. I'll show you how you can do it. I would really appreciate if you like the video and subscribe to my channel. You can also support me through my Kofi homepage. If you're playing or looking to play Lord of the Rings online, there is one place you need to be. The Guiniverse is a Discord server created for the community of the players of Lord of the Rings Online. The server is getting close to 7,000 members, and in this server you'll find tons of helpful information. There's monthly giveaways, easy access to patch notes, you can keep up with my YouTube videos, my streams. If you're a streamer, you can ask for the streamer role, and you can announce your streams in the other stream channel. There are discussion channels for pretty much everything, every class, monster players, but the best thing about your server is probably the gearing resources tab where you can find anything from trait lines for every class, 
every build. There are stat goals where you can find out what stats you should aim for on your characters. Really helpful information about drop rates from instances, as well as screenshot from all the new loot that appears in the game. If you enjoy Lotro, you should definitely consider joining this server, and hopefully I'll see you in Middle Earth. If you were part of the Guiniverse already, you might have noticed that another tab appeared at the top, the LFF server. This server is a brand new server that I created, the LFF Guiniverse. In this server, you can select which servers you want to keep up with. And once you select your server, say you select Arkenstone, you will see the LFF, the kinship advertisement, looking for kinship and trade channels. And there's also voice channels if people want to use those. The LFF channel is basically a looking for fellowship channel where people can post if they need players for the runs. And this way, people don't have to be logged into the game to see the chat. They can just instead get a notification on their Discord. There's also a kinship advertisement page where kins can post their kinship advertisement and have people join their kins. And you can also post in the looking for kinship chat if you're looking for a kinship. But make sure to take a look in the kinship advertisement first and look through all the kin to find a suitable kin for you. There's also a trade channel if people want to buy or sell stuff that you can use. Hopefully you'll consider joining this server to bring the community even more together, not just in the game, but also outside of the game.